Hello Capricorns. So this is going to be for the second half of June. Um, well, that's nice. For a lot of you Capricorns, look out for like a creative flow. There's going to be an energy, like a prosperous energy around you where you're going to feel more creative. Um, like, like hidden talents. I hear hidden jewels. So there could have been things that you could have been passionate about, but maybe you work at a career that is not aligned with your passion, but it brings in money. So the thing about this creativity that's going to come over you, it's like, look out for the energy because it can lead you to abundance. Like something that, ooh, something you never even dreamed of like happening can happen to you at this moment when it comes to prosperity. It's like an idea, like an epiphany, an aha moment when you're in your bed. <laughs> For some of you out here eating cereal. So you can be <laughs> in your bed eating cereal um, and there's an idea that's going to come into your head. Spirit wants you to trust this. Like whatever this is, is it's an idea that's very creative and it's going to bring you lots of abundance like don't don't procrastinate don't sleep don't sleep on yourself when i say don't sleep i mean don't sleep on yourself like use this whatever whatever this is it's going to bring you i hear lots of wealth in the material world okay okay so just look out for that energy when you're like a burst of energy for some of you it could be um it could literally be like you you go outside running for some of you do you like running or doing an activity like a physical activity outside and then you come back home and you're like resting because you're like hot and tired from a run or playing tennis or something and when you sit down to rest the idea comes to you and I hear pivotal. It's going to be very important for you to um, at least write it on a on a book. Write it in a book. <laughs> oh my goodness, Capricorns! What did I just say? And now it says prosperity lies ahead. <laughs> This is exactly what I was just telling you. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Y'all better do it. <laughs> Y'all better. Whatever it is. Um, what is this? How is this? Yeah. See, in spirit it says, like, you, you are very close to achieving a goal. I think this goal has to do with marriage. So... This is nice. It's like the angels are working on your behalf. Um, this is going to be like a very prosperous, abundant time. Like, like lots of changes are on the horizon for you. And I hear like underweighing, like you could be going through a, a spiritual transformation or just a period of growth within yourself. And especially um, in your material world. So you, you probably think that nothing's happening and lo and behold, it's like the angels are working on your behalf and you don't, you don't even realize it because you don't see it yet. You probably feel different. For many of you, you could be feeling exhausted. I hear losing your train of thought. So you can feel nostalgia and um, like your focus you can lose your train of thought really easily around this time. Your thoughts are racing. I hear powerful changes are, are on the way for you, Capricorn. It's like a long time coming. The significance of 18 years for somebody. <laughs> somebody could have been going through a hard time or a dark cloud could have been over their head. So they feel. Um, this is the way they could have been interpreting it for 18 years. Like a dark period where nothing seemed to work out in your favor. You could have had many highs and lows for the past 18 years. 
so let's see i hear community some of you guys are really good at helping out in your in your community um or you could have been out in your community lately to help let's see I hear high hopes. I hear high hopes in achieving your goal. So maybe you're you're at a period where you're trying you're trying to keep your your hopes high. You're trying to be um, positive. You're you're trying. You could be praying this out like, God, I'm trying. Like, please, <laughs> I'm trying. And little do you know that in the background, God is working it all out for you. All right. Ooh, see, th I just said this. This is crazy. It's everything I just said. Like, this is what I'm saying. It's like you, you feel it. You don't see it, but you feel it. Like things are about to take off for you really freaking fast. The recognition, the recognition that you've been waiting for, it, it's, it's underway. So this is in the center. Like this is in your heart. You're waiting for this too. You're like, come on, when is this going to take off? I've been working so hard. I've been putting a lot of time, effort. I've been loyal. I've been dedicated. Like, when is things going to take off for me? All right. So let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Victory and success. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Victory and success. Yes. Let's clarify. So this this is something to do with um, communication. Like communicating in... Ooh. This is good. The wheel is turning. It's like good fortune and favor. Oh, man. This is so beautiful. But I want to... Um, with victory and success and, and with the page of swords. Page of swords is with communication or it normally signifies somebody who's been spying on you. Um, it's so funny, like it, with the page of swords, if you do have someone spying on you, um, somebody is, is gonna see you win. <laughs> Somebody is about to watch you win from a distance. And this could have been somebody who could have hurt you and caused you so much pain. Because it's so funny. It's like they caused you pain and now they're in pain for causing you pain. Because when I was meditating, I heard harboring pain for how they treated you. Like somebody left you out in the cold. Somebody treated you so freaking bad. And now they're going to have to watch you from a distance when like you're 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 stepping into your wedding season. Things are about to take off for you um, and they're watching. They're going to they're going to see this, whether you show your achievements or your success on uh, your social media page. It's like they're going to see you win. And this person, it's like you could have you could have wanted to take them with you into this new road or this new journey in your life, but it seems like they were reluctant to change, you know. And it it could have been also like a toss up. They could have had between you and someone else to choose, and they could have chose the other person. And they're gonna have to watch you in and be regretful that they even ever treated you like that. Um. So what else? Yeah, there's balance that's being brought back in your life. after you went through a lot of difficulty. So that's what you're focused on. You're focused on winning in the past. Yep. In the past, you were alone. You were all by yourself in the past. You could have had to, um, yeah. You had to detach from somebody that things weren't growing. It wasn't moving. It wasn't, it wasn't growing no matter how much you would try to fight for this or you would put into this there was there was somebody that you realized that things were just not growing and you had to uh you had to release them and and it took some time and it looks like you had to really sit with yourself to overcome this pain yeah 
somebody who was not <laughs> giving you any recognition, somebody who, who, who was not being appreciative of you. You could have been with a fire sign. For some of you, that's all they probably had to offer was just passion. So they probably rush into your life um, passionately and leave just as, leave as fast. Either, either way, this person, they didn't appreciate you or value you for who you are. And for that, you had to detach. It's like you had to come to a point with yourself where you were like, you know what? This is not growing. And I feel like because you were with that person, that's why nothing was happening for you. I feel like as soon as you start to detach yourself from this person, all of a sudden you start to win and things start to come. Blessings start to come. Oh, Capricorn, watch out because you're probably going to see the number 88 a lot, like on license plates numbers or on TV or signs, you're going to see 88 or 888. And it just means abundance. You're going to see that a lot of people want to come in and help you or stranger strangers are going to um, just come up and start talking to you. <laughs> Literally, like, oh, hey, how was your day? You're like, oh, you hi. It's like people are. You're just gonna start to get a lot of recognition and attention, um, and you and you don't know why, but the truth is, is because you deserve it. You you've went through a lot of hardships and you've helped a lot of people, and all this time you felt like you were being overlooked, rejected, and protect. I mean, overlooked and rejected, but you were truly being protected, um, and now it's coming back. Yeah, so this is like resting. You could have put in a lot of work. For some of you, I see that you're tired because you still you still work. Even um, during this pandemic, it looks like a lot of you work. So you probably just um, work and come back home. Or for some of you, you just stay at home and you're working. So you're trying to rest. You and I did I say that already? Like feeling feeling uh, fatigued or or exhausted at times and feeling spaced out. It's almost like your soul is preparing you for what's to come. So it's almost like um, you're getting a break before things start to take off for you. So spirit wants you to reflect and they want you to to be proud of yourself. Don't don't reflect in the blues. Um, try to switch the focus on all that you have overcome because for many of you, you overcome a lot. For some of you, I hear you you uh, released yourself from an abusive an abusive partner. So someone could have been very physical, physically and verbally abusive to you. Um, and you had to build yourself back up from that and that took a lot. So be proud of yourself of all that you have been able to overcome. Because I hear challenging. Like, things have been truly challenging for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just said that. So this is wishes that are finally coming true. This is manifestation. Yeah. Some of you are... Oh, some of you... And this is in the near... This is in your current position. Some of you, you manifested um, love. Like, you finally manifested some love. Ooh, let's get it. What? Let's get it. <laughs> Ooh. So um, it could be a Gemini that some of you could have just manifested in. It's like a brand new beginning. To me, this looks like a brand new life. <laughs> so this looks more so like um, I hear clearing out the old. You had to probably clear out a lot of things and it could have it could have took place um I'm sorry it could have took place like in your home like you could have came home from work one day and realized that you just started to clear things out I hear out your drawer so you could have been clearing out old clothes like I don't even wear this no more this is outdated this is corny nobody wears this no more no. <laughs> but it just looks like you could have went on a purge in your home and what you didn't realize is that you were truly making room for um new blessings all right so let's see what's look at that i just said it baby you about to get your groove back this is beautiful i like it so much you know, you know why I like it? Because um, as I hold this harmony card, my spirit, my spirit feels at peace. So you're going to have a very peaceful connection in the near future. Because this is, 
this is your current position of you finally taking a leap. You manifested something. It's like a brand new beginning in the current position. And in the near future, then it shows harmony. So you manifested harmony. And this person will recognize you. And they will value you. And they will appreciate you. And it's going to be like a blessing from the sky. You want to know why? Because it is a blessing from the sky. And things are going to take off pretty fast between you and this person. So be careful of that because I hear weariness. You might be wary. Like, is it is it true? Is it is it really happening for me? Could this really be? <laughs> you know, it's almost like it's too good to be true. So be like it's 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 happening. Yep. Somebody who will um, bring you balance. It's going to be reciprocity. So someone who wants to give in ain't no takers. Shit. That is piss. Sorry. <laughs> Ain't nobody who's going to try to take from you. Let's see. Yeah. And and this shows like a powerful awakening. So you're going to realize it. Um, You're going to have an epiphany or an awakening and like, oh my God, this is really the one. You're going to realize it. Like you're going to get a sign. If you don't get a sign, just pray for one. I, I always do that. You can you can um, literally pray to your angels and ask them to give you a sign. And you just have to be open to how you receive the sign. It can be in, in a song. Um, it could be in a movie where something just stands out. But just, just pray for it. Like, ask, ask your spirit guides um, for confirmation. All right. Yeah, look at this. So this is you taking right now you're you're taking um leadership over your life. Like this is power moves, you know? Yeah. Ooh, and I did say didn't I say that something to do with a brand new um financial th this is this is finances. So with your finances, it's like you have a a a brand new business venture and I did say that guys I said be be aware of like being in your bed or you know any any opportunity to that's another thing any new business opportunities that come to you you better take it it's gonna be very abundant and you prayed for this so you better take it don't be praying for things and not taking it <laughs> guys I'm so happy you got your power back. Oh, they thought that you wasn't going to get it back, did they? Capricorn, they done had you messed up, baby. You done took your power back, honey. You done said, give me my crown. Shit, I know how to wear this, okay? Ain't nobody got time. Got your power back and your hopes. This is like judgment. You're hoping... Let's see. Oh, whew. you're hoping for an emperor or empress, you know, like you, you, you want fairness. You're basically like, I went through all this. I had to go through a lot in love. I had to, you know, you, you want to get control over your life and you want to be with somebody who is um, grounded and structured and who is willing to give in to you and, and be there for you and hold you down the way that that you can. So that's what you're hoping for, but that's what you're going to get. Let's see. Oof. And, and your fears is that you won't be able to stand your ground. So that's the thing. I feel like, I feel like you're fearful of, of not being grounded or somebody taking you off your game again. I feel like um, in, in, in the past, you, you probably could have been with people or been in situations that left you powerless and that you, you felt defeated. So that's why you're fearing, like, no matter what, I just never want to lose myself again, you know? All right. I'm going to go on to the extended. Let's, let's see more about this new person and let's see how this all unfolds for you. But I'm so happy for you, Capricorns. This is so beautiful. I send you so much love and light.